This has got to be the fastest, easiest and most convenient way of creating a rental website without requiring any web development skills. Let me introduce you to rental.io. See what they did there? Rental, rental, clever, huh? Now with this platform, you'll be able to build a rental website in minutes. And this will work with all sorts of rentable items such as bicycles, scooters, kayaks, canoes, skiing equipments, marquees, bouncy castles, tools, clothes, well, whatever really. So if you're looking to increase your sales by expanding your reach online and rent to more people more frequently, then keep watching as we are going to show you how easy it is to get started. Okay, so with Rental, you'll be able to design a beautiful website like this one, as you can see, very trendy indeed. So this is an example website, a demo website we created. This one is called Mr. Web Rentals, and it's supposedly based in New York City. As you can see, a beautiful imagery and everything. So if we click on any of those sections here, so let's say bikes, and then we can rent any of those bikes. As you can see, you have option A, option B. So let's go ahead perhaps with this one here, an e-bike, and then you can select the model, perhaps the frame size, and then we can choose the duration. So for how long do you want to rent it? An hour, two hours, four hours, a whole day. So let's go ahead perhaps with two hours and then we can select our time slot. So let's say we'll be on holiday in New York on Friday the 7th, there you go. And we'll be coming perhaps at 10 a.m., there you go. After this, your customer can proceed to check out and that's basically it, you know. And as you can see, they can pay by card, obviously, and you can also request a security deposit. So all together, super easy easy to use and to set up as well as we shall demonstrate now. So let's get started uh, from the beginning and let's start by setting up our account. And welcome to rental.io and as you can see you can get started for free. So let me show you here if you go to pricing as you can see just to confirm you can get started for free which is absolutely fine. And then let me show you the different options, okay? So we have four different plans here. The free one, basic, grow and advanced. So the free one, basically you can host your online store and have unlimited staffs account, which is absolutely fine to get you started. The only downside with this one is that you don't get the custom domain. So basically you will be hosted under the rental.io domain name. So if you wanted to have your domain.com and point directly to your website, your own domain name, you will need the basic plan. As you can see with this one, we have custom domain, also language translation and customer support. Now, if you want to go to the next one up, so we have the grow here. The, the only difference with this one is that you get the manual booking creation as well. So if you take bookings over the phone, perhaps this would be a better option for you. Now we have the advanced one here is $199.50. So this is for the pro, obviously, obviously you know, uh, this will give you access also to the check-in app. So all together, you can start for free, like I said, or perhaps $19.50 per month if you need your own domain name. Either way, it's absolutely fine. But we're going to start for free here, okay? So let's click on Get Started. There you go. And all we have to do now is to enter our details. So there you go, perhaps something like this. You know, all you need is your email address, create a password, put the store name and your location, and then create the store. So they're going to ask you a few questions here, as you can see, tell us a bit about yourself. So I'm setting up my first store online. I'm looking to replace my existing system. So basically it's like a survey for them, you know. So I'm just going to here, I'm just playing around and pick an industry. So I'm just going to select here, uh, let's say bikes and scooters. Okay, this is fine. Enter my store. And there you go. As you can see, our website is created already and we can now add our product and customize the front end. So if you click on this, you can see here online store, click on this. So this is our actual shop, as you can see, at home and about. So it doesn't look fancy at the moment, obviously, but we're going to tweak this around and I'm going to show you how easy it is as well. So let's go back to our back end here. So this is basically our dashboard and this is where you have full control over everything. As you can see, step number one, create your first product. Step number two, create your first order. And third, view and fulfill the order you created. So that's very easy, okay? Now, if you close this, as you can see, we have different steps we need to complete. Obviously, you can customize our online store. We can add inventory. We can verify our business and contact information and so on and so on. As you can see, very easy to follow and very intuitive as well. 
So let's take care of the very first thing we need to do here is to add a product, obviously, you know. So test the core functionalities of rental. So let's create our first product. Okay, so let's give it a name. So let's start maybe with an e-bike, for instance. Okay, so this is an e-bike and we're going to create the category. So there are no categories at the moment. So to create a new one, all you have to do is just to type away. So I'm going to call this one bikes and then click on the plus sign. There you go. Now we have the bikes categories created. Now here, pricing here, as you can see, you have the booking price and the sales price. Now, don't be confused here. The sales price doesn't mean it's a discounted price. It's actually because this plan on this platform, you can actually rent bicycles, for instance, but you can also sell them. So you give the option, both options are at once, you know. So for instance, we could rent it at 10 euros per hour. Now you can change the price, obviously, maybe it could be 15 euros or 12 euros 50 per hour. And as you can see, you can change the duration as well. Is it a fixed booking? Is it per hour, per day within opening hours? So from nine to five, let's say, or per day, like a 24 hour period or per week. So let's go ahead here with per hour, okay? So 12 euros 50 per hour. And now you have the sales price as well. So if you were to sell that e-bike, how much is it? So let's say perhaps 650 euro. Okay. And now we can create our product. And there you go. From here, you have a more detailed overview of your product. So let's start by adding a description. There you go. And an image as well. So as you can see, we have no images on our website at the moment. Obviously, it's brand new. So let's click upload new images. I found one here online. So open. Once it's uploaded, select it just like this and then click OK. There you go. Now we have our image. As you can see, of the status as well of our product at the moment, it is hidden. And once it's ready, you can publish and go public. So let's put it public for now. It's much easier. OK, and then we have the pricing. So let's take care of this now. As you can see right on top, like we said, you can select among two different options. You have booking and then sales. So sales is when you want to sell the product at full price. If someone wants to walk into your shop and purchase it, or perhaps it's only per booking. So you can enable and disable either options. As you can see, if you don't want to sell the product, you can disable this using the toggle switch and you can re-enable re it at any given time. Okay. So let's go back to our booking. And from here, you're going to be able to input your price structure. So as you can see, you can go by fixed price. So it's a simple price, you know, but obviously in this case, it's probably better to have a pricing table because then you have tier pricing and you can go by hour, two hours, four hours, uh, the full day, maybe the full week, whichever way you want to set it up. So as you can see by default, it will offer four options. As you can see, one hour, two hours, four hours, and then the full day. Okay. So based on our price of $12.50 per hour, the calculation is done automatically. So normally a full day should cost a hundred, a half day 50, and then 25 for two hours, and then 1250 per hour, which is our cost here, obviously, you know, now you might offer uh, discounted prices for the full day. Okay. So let's say a full day, it's only, let's say 75, let's say, okay. And perhaps a half day, it's only only 40 euros. There you go. And it's full price for the first two hours. This could be an option. Okay. So this is how you would set this up. Now, let's say you live nearby a camping site and all the holiday makers maybe stay there for a week or maybe two. So let's go ahead with maybe a full week. Okay. How can you add a full week to this pricing structure here? By the side here, like you can see, you can select the amount. So one and now select the period week. And now we add our row. There you go. Now this is one week. So how much is it for a full week? So maybe the full week is maybe let's say 160 euros altogether, just like this. Okay. After this, all you have to do is click save and that's it. Your price structure now is in place. Now, as you can see here on top, we have, this is a standalone pricing table, which means that every time you're going to upload a new product, as many e-bikes as you have, you will have to start over again and everything and re-enter all these different settings. Now there's a very nice option here. If you open this, as you can see, you can save this as a new template. So you'll be able to reuse that throughout the whole website with different items and different bikes. Okay. So let's click on save as a new template and now we can give it a name. So let's call this one e-bikes or even bikes altogether. Maybe the rental price for all your bikes are the same. Okay. So let's click bikes, create template 
and that's basically it okay and now we can go back on top and as you can see we have other options here with availability and then settings as well so let's click on availability and this is basically where you're going to enter the stock level so maybe you only have five e-bikes uh, 10 mountain bikes two road bikes and maybe one tandem this is where you can do so as you can see here we have two options inventory and connect to inventory so the first one we need to click on is inventory so let's click on this and let me open this in a new tab all together there you go and now we can get started this is the first step okay so let's click on get started create a new sku because you need to link the sku to your product name okay and now we need to give it a name so let's call this one e-bike let's keep it simple and the sku code as you can see is going to fetch the first three letters but you can change this to whatever you want it could be item 001 or something like this or maybe eb for e-bikes you know 001 and how do you want to track this as you can see of bulk or individual so in our case it will be per on a, on a per bike basis you know so we're going to select individual so let's click save Okay, now from here, we need to add our stock level. So let's say we have six e-bikes available in stock, okay? So as you can see here at the bottom, this is where we're gonna add the total amount. So auto-generate identifiers, which is absolutely fine, or maybe you want to add custom ones. So that means that each bike will have its own ID. This is really up to you, you know? But in this case, let's keep it simple. Let's have an auto-generate identifiers. So let's add perhaps six. And how are they available? Are they available for rental or for sales? In this case, those six are available for rental, okay? So let's add those six articles. Very good. Now, if we go back here now, as you can see, we can now connect to the inventory because we just created it. So connect to inventory. Let's select this, e-bike. And there you go, as you can see, we have six of them in stock available for rent. So let's go back to the general tab here and let's have a look at our product, okay? So let's click on view in store and this is gonna bring us to that landing page immediately. So there you go, this is our e-bike available from 12 euros 50, so you can book 12 euros 50 or you can buy it as well, you know, either way. So let's say we're gonna book it now and let's book this perhaps for just two hours, okay? So let's select our two hours and now we can see Select our time slot using the calendar here so let's say we'll be arriving on friday the 30th here let's select our date and now you select your time slot when do you want it so maybe time to arrive at the hotel getting ready etc etc so maybe from one o'clock and there you go so now you can add this to the bag and that's it basically and now if we go through the checkout process all you have to do is basically enter our details here and obviously there are no payment options available at the moment so we need to set this up obviously you know so let's go back here now to our product page and now we can go back to our main dashboard obviously and we're going to set up the payment method okay so as you can see our product is now created and you can add as many as you want using the same procedure the same principle here so basically create a product uh, fit it to a category create your price structure and that's basically it okay now let's go back here and this time we could go to account. There you go. And this is where you can set everything up based on your business model. Basically the way you run your business can be fully configured here. As you can see, you have accounting, you have general, marketing, plan and billing, regional information, terms and policies, your taxes, obviously, you know, VAT, etc. And also, if you have multiple stores, multiple locations, you can create them right here as well. So let's take care of the payment method now because this is the only thing that we're going to cover now because there's so many options, it will be impossible to cover all of that in just one video. So let's go through the essentials for now. Okay, so let's click on payment here and there you go right on top here as you can see of the rental payment. So this is a proprietary solution powered by Idean. So you can complete the setup. So all you have to do is just click on this and get through all the steps and then go through verification. So I'm not going to do this online obviously because it's going to ask some private information which I cannot disclose online, but you get the whole idea. Once you're up and running, you'll be able to receive payment through rental payments. Now, if you want to use a third party provider, for instance, here Stripe, which is a very common one, all you have to do is click connect to Stripe and there you go. And now you can log into your Stripe account. So all you have to do is enter the email address that you used a registration, click continue and then enter your login details and then click login select your industry so i'm just going to select software for now click continue 
And there you go. Now you are fully connected to Stripe. You can see the status is now active, but you still have to enable it in order to be able to use it at checkout. As you can see, I have a toggle switch here, so switch that on. And then you can also enable manual payments, which means that they can book online and they'll pay you once they arrive on site at your premises. There you go. Let's enable this as well. And now if you go back to our checkout page, you will see that we have the option to pay by credit card. So this is powered by Stripe, obviously, or pay on pickup. So when you get on site. So that's basically it. Now this is working for us. OK, so next, let me show you how you can take an order over the phone or maybe over the counter if someone is there physically and they're ready to rent your bike. OK, so for all for this, you have to go basically is to your main home. So this is our main dashboard. As you can see, I've create order. So let's create an order manually so you can book now or you can reserve. Either way is fine, you know. So now you have the person physically there. They want to book the bike. So let's book this. And this way you should. There's no double entry in the system and you don't double book the bike, obviously, you know. So let's book this now. So let's select which bikes they want. So let's say you, you also have maybe skates, surfing boards and perhaps bikes. So let's go ahead with the bike here and the person wants an L size. Let's add this to order and then from here, click continue and then fill out those details. So let's say your client's name is John Doe. Ask him for his phone number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Email address john.do at Mr. Web reviews.com okay and ask them if they want to receive a confirmation email yes or no and then ask them as well if they want to receive a special offers from time to time you need a consent given verbally obviously you know take this and then confirm order and there you go the order is booked now everything is done and as you can see the status is unpaid obviously so let's say the customer comes now physically and then you can receive the payment cash and then you can mark this as paid so just mark as paid and that's it now it is paid and now we need to select the id of our bike so let's click this and then remember we auto generated the id so select one of them so perhaps this one and then let me hide myself for a second now we can click this button here that says start and there you go so now everything is in place the order is taken care of and it's fully up and running from that moment on and now let me show you how you can customize the front end so basically the look of your home page here as you can see we have a new york black and white images at the moment but perhaps you want to change it to something slightly different so let's go back here now so for this we go to our menu we go to settings online store and right here on top we have appearance so click on customize and there you go. So this is where you can customize your home page. As you can see, you can choose among two different layouts, product listing. As you can see, you have your categories here and all your products being listed up. So this is more uh, typical of an e-commerce website. Now, if you want to rent items, maybe category listing might be slightly better. As you can see, this is our main heading. And then underneath you have all your categories. So you can define how many categories you want to display. So how many columns, as you can see at the moment we have four, but you can reduce that to pay maybe three or whichever you want, okay? So let's go ahead and change our image here for something else. So I'm gonna delete the image, add a new image. And I found one online again. So let's select this one. Very good. So as you can see now we have two people on their bicycles because it's a bike rental after all, you know. So that's basically it. Now we can save this. And if you go back to our home page, as you can see, it's already there. Now, if we scroll down the page, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, because we only have four categories. This is not very nice, obviously. So maybe we can change the width, uh, the layout to four, perhaps. OK, so we go back here and change this to four. Let's save again. So let's go back here. And as you can see, this is a much neater layout, obviously, you know. Now, all our images here for the categories, they're still in black and white. So how can you change this and swap this for color images? Well, very simply, let's go back here. We go back to our menu section. This time we go to products, categories, and earlier on, when we created those categories, obviously we had to upload an image and those ones were in black and white. So now we can change all these different images here. All we have to do is click on the category itself, edit the image and upload any image that we want. So we have this one in color. OK, save. Let's go back to our categories. As you can see, this one is in color now. And we can do the same with the other categories, obviously, you know. So now we have all our image in color. So let's go back to our home page. And there you have it. Look at this, how beautiful this looks. Very professional indeed. So this is how you can customize your home page and all the content on your website. 
Now let me quickly go through a few additional features that are very, very handy indeed. You can translate your website in 19 different languages. So here they are, all of them here. You can add delivery to all your orders. Here you can set everything up. Delivery and optional pickup, delivery and pickup, or delivery only, and then set your prices. And in the front end, it will look something like this, perhaps one euro if you book for three days, and then less than 30 kilometers is a certain price and less than 10 is another price. And you can create reports as well. So basically this is gonna give you a quick overview of your financial situations and all the orders that are coming in. So you know at any given time how much you've earned. You can also create discount code, promo code. So all you have to do is to go to discount, create a new discount, give it a name, and then define what type of discount this is. Is it a percentage or a fixed amount? Are you giving 10 euros discount or a percentage? So let's say if you give 20% of the amount, of which amount is it from the entire order, specific product, specific categories. You can also limit the amount of usage you can have. So for instance, the first 50 orders coming in with this coupon code will get 20% discount. And you can also have date range valid, for instance, for one week only or something like this. All you have to do after this is just to save and that's you done. And then you can create bundled products as well. So you create a new product here, take this box here. This is a package product. And in the front end, it looks something like this. So maybe you're renting this as a package. So the bike, the helmet and the frame bag as well. And then you can create your email list for marketing purposes. As you can see, we created one earlier on, John Doe at MrWebReviews.com. But now everyone that's going to go on your website and register will have the option to receive special offers, in which case they'll end up here in your list and you can send them emails each and every time you want. And then you can create product variations as well. As you can see for this one, we have small, medium, large, extra large. Or if, for instance, if it was a kayak, you could have one person kayak, two, three, and so on. Or perhaps this size engine for a motorbike, it could be 50cc, 80cc, 125cc, and so on. And you can have different locations under the same website. As you can see, we have stores here. If I click on this, we have two different locations, New York, Park Avenue, Chicago, Michigan Avenue. You can ask for pre-booking information as well, just to make sure this is suitable for the person. For instance, height, weight, shoe size, experience level, age, and stance. And if you have point of sale system with a barcode reader, you can use barcodes throughout the whole website to keep track of your inventory, including order confirmations. So as you can see, this is a very comprehensive solution that will allow you to rent any type of equipment. Now, if you want to give this a go, simply click on the link in the description where it says get rental here. Now, next, perhaps you want to learn how to make a membership website for free. If this is the case, I'll leave this here.